It's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. Now I know I've shared a day in the life for myself but I really wanted to show you guys what it's like being an actual professional cake decorator who runs their own storefront. And today Rachel has so graciously allowed me to come to her storefront which is Happy Cakes. Come and visit if you are in the area which is in British Columbia in the Lower Mainland. And this is one of the few clips you'll see of me today because I'm going to be the woman behind the camera the whole time. Now today is a Tuesday, which isn't a super hectic time for the bakery, but still busy. Are you looking for a custom cake or a signature cake? Okay. I apologize for the sound quality there, but I really wanted to give you a really in-depth look at what that ambiance feels like when you're in the shop. It's quite noisy, we've got mixers going at all times, and the air conditioning can be quite loud as well. So a lot of Rachel's day is punctuated with a bunch of phone calls because she is the one that is able to quote for cakes, but she also takes on a lot of cupcake orders through the phone as well. After creating that plaque in seconds, she was able to get that out the door and to the customer. Now it's on to creating her signature cakes, and I showed you guys how I made her signature cakes for her the other day. And this one took her less than three minutes to decorate, which I will show you in another video that I have saved for you guys. Now when I was working as a cake decorator, I usually found that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are when I would get the most cake orders, but she seems to have a lot of different cakes due today as well. And before moving on to her next task, she's just finishing up this little tag for this cake and she's going to place it on and put it in the fridge. And we talked about this before, but placing that amount of fondant in this fridge is going to be totally fine. No sweating out or anything like that. Downtime. Back to biz. And that quick text to her boyfriend was literally all the break that she takes all day. I don't even think she really stopped for lunch or anything like that either. We are in Rachel's little office nook where she does a lot of the email answering. But after just a few short minutes, she is interrupted by this little ding from this device, which tells her that an Uber Eats order has come through. So if you guys are in the local area, definitely order from Uber Eats and you could have happy cakes in minutes. Now we're going to go prepare that Uber Eats order and it was just a cupcake order. So she's going to go ahead and grab those directly from the showcase. These cupcake boxes are specifically for orders of four, so she's going to go ahead and grab all of those cupcakes needed and place them in. And of course, we have that checkered wrap, which is just so happy cakes. I haven't really seen that wrap anywhere else, so every time I see that parchment, I always think of happy cakes. And it looks like they're getting a feeling razzy, a lemon, and a cheesecake, as well as a caramelicious. And she's going to place that in the box and put on the happy cake sticker, as well as give it some tape, because of course, whenever you're ordering, ordering from a food delivery service, you want to make sure that it hasn't been opened and it is fresh. And Happy Cakes always loves an opportunity to make sure that this is personalized, so a little message for this particular cupcake delivery. Rachel also likes to make sure that she is hyper organized because when you're doing as many orders as she does, you need to stay organized. So of course we need to label that with Uber Eats so that it doesn't get given away to the wrong person. Now running the shop very much relies on teamwork. So Rachel noticed that one of her employees who was working on this cake earlier got called to go do something else up at the front with customers. So she decided to just finish decorating this cake for her. And this is going to be a fridge cake, which means that it's going to be available for purchase without any pre-ordering. And that is the most interesting way I've ever seen anybody do a drip. I don't think I've ever even seen Rachel do a drip that way before. So I was very, very intrigued. And now we're adding on some of these swirls and this is going to to be strawberry because I believe that there is a strawberry filling on the inside though I could be wrong about that but I love the look I love the look of all of these colors together and when you're making fridge cakes you want to make something that's going to be appealing to the masses and you can see in the background there that they have episodes of the office playing because according to Rachel you really can't have a day of work without watching the office and I asked Rachel why these sprinkles for this particular cake and she said these sprinkles bring her the most joy, so of course she's going to use it on her fridge cakes when possible. And I agree, this is super, super fun. And yes, I did have to slow down that shot earlier because Rachel is so, so speedy. As I was filming her throughout this day, I was literally running after her sometimes. It makes sense though, because at the core of every bakery and business, efficiency is generally the key. And that is another cake complete and ready to go to anybody that would like to purchase a yummy and delicious cake. 
Now, like I said earlier, it's not a super, super busy day for cakes on a Tuesday. However, I will say that there was a lot of cupcake customers today, so it's always good to make sure to have things stocked up. I've seen plenty of times where people aren't able to get a bakery quality cake as they haven't pre-ordered, so those fridge cakes are an awesome idea. Now it's time to wash up and let's all just take time to marvel at this beautiful Happy Cakes sign that's right at the back by the sink. And Rachel's going to dry off her hands and get ready for the next task, which apparently is fixing her messy bun. If you see Rachel with her messy bun, then that generally means she's going to get down to a lot of work. And so while she's taking more orders, checking on her brand new puppy at home. She's got a lot of employees at the front who are handling the customers and making sure that everyone gets their daily dose of cupcakes. And on the rare occasion when Rachel did go up to the front, she had lots of customers engaging with her and talking about how much they love her reels. So I will definitely post down in the description box below her Instagram, which is at Happy Cakes Surrey. So Rachel is answering a lot of emails here, and then just on the other side, she's got her employees again, handing out even more cupcakes to more customers. And I will say that, you know what? The emails, they never stop. She also does a lot of them at home as well. And I know you guys can't hear it on this video, but this phone is continually ringing as well. How fun is this cake? This is a specific order that she's going to be doing in the future. So here she's writing down all of her order forms. So she makes sure as soon as she gets that email, gets the confirmation of payment, she makes sure to have everything in place on these order forms. And I will be sharing with you guys in a separate video what those order forms specifically look like and what she asks for to ensure the accuracy of her orders. This is definitely one of the huge differences between being a home baker and owning your own bakery storefront. Lots of different things going on at once. Do you want the machine receipt sample to the back too? <laughs> if you can, if you can, it's fine if they want their own. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I really did try to film every important interaction. However, I did miss that one, so I did make them act that out for me again. It really surprised me as I was following Rachel around today how many phone calls she actually did have to answer. You can even see that she has employees on the phone as well with other customers in the background. We never had two lines before, but I think with how busy they are, it really is a must. Oftentimes, Rachel does have to take trips up to the front to make sure that all of the stock that is being asked about on the phone is still present. So she's talking about that beautiful fridge cake that she made earlier, and someone is inquiring about a cake. And this would be my favorite part of the day where I get to refill the sprinkle wall. I mean, how beautiful is that? It's like everything is for sure done now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Okay. Heather, you've got a good grip on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Putting in one last tray of cupcakes before she goes, and this was a bit of a shorter work day for Rachel, but of course if you guys have seen our videos before, you know the work day never really ends for her. Right. So that was a little bit of a glimpse into the day in the life of a bakery business owner. Now let's get into our subscriber submission of the day. And wow, this cake blew me away. I love it. It's so, so clean and it's pink. And it also has gold leaf, so you really can't go wrong. Be sure to give them a comment, drop them a like, and make sure to follow them on Instagram. And if you want to be the next featured subscriber on this channel, be sure to follow me at SD Bake Shop on Instagram. You can either tag me in a photo or you can also private message me whatever photo that you would like to be shared on this channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!